Someone in my organization used old and damaged axles on the engine. They'll know we have a killer on our payroll, and we need to make it clear it isn't me. In episode 5 of The Gilded Age, the Russell's Family Railroad Company suffered a devastating train crash. But who's responsible and why'd they do it? Episode 5 of The Gilded Age saw the Russell family entangled in a disastrous railroad crash that threatens to ruin them financially. But who could have caused it? In the promo for episode 6 of the HBO Max series, George Russell, the family's patriarch, seemingly discovered that the derailed train was deliberately sabotaged by someone who deployed faulty axle pieces. He suspects that there could be a mole within his organization or someone who would want to cause him and his family harm pulling the strings, who is responsible for the railroad crash. The Russell family is by no means perfect, as they have collected their fair share of enemies in the first half of the season. Besides the Russell's antagonistic old money neighbors, the Van Rijgens, the Russells also managed to make enemies of New York City's aldermen and one of the widows of said representatives. George Russell inadvertently created this feud after his devious corporate scheming drove widow Anne Morris, husband into relative poverty and eventually into killing himself. Because of this rift between the Russells and the Morrises, it's likely that Anne Morris has something to do with the Russells' railroad crash. The Morris family has many old money connections throughout New York, including the aldermen that George Russell all but destroyed financially. As Mrs. Morris blames the Russells for her husband's death, it's natural that she'd want to make sure the family roots what they sow. Given a threat of revenge and Anne Morris connections to the aldermen, it's highly possible that she may have conspired to set into motion a plot against the Russells. In Episode 5, Anne Morris protested Bertha Russell's appearance at a Red Cross charity event, citing that she herself has blood on her hands. Anne Morris also swore at the same event to her confidant Aurora Fain that she would make sure that Mrs. Russell doesn't beat her, and she promises that she'll eventually come out on top. It's clear in this regard that Mrs. Morris is completely blinded by her thirst for revenge and would perhaps even go to desperate measures to make sure she achieves her goal. Given Anne Morris' prior connection to the city's aldermen, she may have leveraged her relationship with them to have the Russell's business competitors sabotage the family's railroads in New York City. In previous episodes of The Gilded Age, the aldermen are cited to have connections throughout many of the city's businesses and significant influence over the railroad companies that enter and exit the city. Given that the Russells all but bankrupted them, it seems plausible that Anne Morris may have convinced them to use their business connections to exact her revenge on Bertha and George. While Julian Fellows, the writer of the Gilded Age Julian Fellows who also created Downton Abbey, is often known for the slow burn, it seems his new series has escalated the stakes rather drastically at its midpoint. The inclusion of a mystery surrounding a devastating railroad crash, perhaps caused by a feuding family's matriarch, has revealed an uglier side to the Gilded Age's eponymous, historical era. Whatever the answer may be, it's clear that Anne Morris will at least take joy in hearing that the Russell's karma has finally caught up with them. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.